Hey friends, how we doing tonight? I'm uh, just in the middle of getting some dye on the go to dye up some deer hair. So I thought I might as well bring you guys along and uh, show you guys how I go about dyeing. Uh, in this case, some bucktail. Alright, I've had uh, my little piece of bucktail uh, sitting in some warm water, um, cleaning up. I've stirred it around a bit. I've got my water boiling now. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that down a little bit. I've got my bag of dye here. In the pot I've got uh, two cups of water. Don't need a whole lot because I just have a small piece of hair. And I'm going to be using uh, this fabric dye. Um, this is going to be yellow. I'm going to do red later on another little piece and uh, tie up some Mickey fins. So I'm just going to get this situated so I can get this dye in here. Okay guys, so I'm going to get the fan on a little bit. So I start out with two cups of water, bring that to a boil put the dye in, stir it around, make sure it's all dissolved, bring that to a boil again, and then what I'm going to do is add another two cups of water to that, which I have in my Yeti mug already. Okay, so now I'm going to add my other two cups of water. I'm going to stir that in and bring that up to a boil again. Okay guys, so the dye's boiled up now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the little piece of bucktail I have from my nice warm water, drop that in there. And what we want to do is bring this to a simmer. So I'll turn the heat down to low. And uh, we just want to kind of agitate this fur for about a half hour, okay? So you want it to simmer and uh, kind of bounce around in there for, like I said, about a half hour. So, uh, once that's uh, all said and done, I'll follow back up. I've had this uh, simmering, guys, for about five minutes now. So let's go ahead and take a look, see how it's looking. Well, it certainly isn't white anymore, guys. It's actually looking really good for five minutes. I'm just going to let that uh, simmer up for another five minutes. And uh, then I think we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and rinse it. <clears throat> I said before uh, I'd simmer it for a half hour. Now, this is uh, quite a small piece of bucktail, so five minutes looks pretty good so we'll just give it a few more minutes here and uh, and go from there okay guys so I'm ready to transfer it over from my boiling dye over to some warm water so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that and that drip for a sec and there we go splash that in Ooh, yeah, and there we go. Now we're getting the real yellow we want. I was afraid it was looking a little orange in there. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. And uh, I just want to kind of push this around in, in this warm water. Try to get all that extra dye out of that fur. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going to rinse it again in cold water and squeeze as much out as possible. So I'll just do that under the tap. 
Oh, that's looking really good, guys. See, this is so simple. You know, if you're um, if you're a hunter and you know you bag a white-tailed deer, or your friends do. In my case, um, I like to hunt, but I mostly take pictures. <laughs> Um, my family's all hunt hunters and there's lots of meat to go around so uh, I don't really feel the, the need to um, hunt I suppose. I like to fish. It's really hard to catch and release uh, after you pull a trigger. So anyway in this case I got three or four bucktails this year and uh, I just snipped a couple small pieces off and I'm going to dye them up, uh, tie up some Mickey fins, so this stuff works per perfect, it's cheap, you know, I think I picked this stuff up for $1.99, right, and this stuff, like, I could have, I could have dyed up two or three full bucktails with that, but it's all right. Oh yeah, that's looking really good, guys. Okay, so. I'm going to take you over to the tap, run that over some cold water, and see what it looks like then. Actually, um, rinsing it in that hot water pretty much got all the dye out. You know, there's not a whole lot in uh, coming out of the sink there. So I think we're, we pretty much got it. As you can tell, guys, it's not going to dye the black, right? you got to pick white pieces of the hair, and I didn't mind having that little black piece in there. That's okay for me. I'm only going to be using this very sparsely, tying up bucktails. Sorry, tying up Mickey fins. Okay, guys. Wow, that's looking awesome. I'm going to just wrap this in some uh, paper towel and pat it dry. That is freaking awesome, guys. I love that. That's the perfect yellow. It's exactly what I wanted. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Some nice yellow bucktail. Started out white. $2 dye. About 15 minutes of your time and uh, you're ready to tie something new or restock on your yellow bucktail or whatever other color you want to do well, thanks for tuning in guys to another episode i hope you learned something and you can put this to use save yourself some money that's the main goal here and uh, catch a fish on some tin tacks yellow bucktail thanks again guys peace